I'm here to officially welcome you to the age of Kali, the age of quarrel and hypocrisy, and it's only going to get worse. The age that we're living in is going to be full of challenges unlike you've ever seen before. And if you're not developing yourself, if you're not adjusting with the times, if you're on the slow track to success, success will never be yours. In this video, I'm going to share with you the three essentials needed. Every man needs to do these if he expects to be successful, to be prosperous, to be prosperous, and to be a leader in this age of Kali. The beauty is there's hope, and I'm going to share with you why. Let's get into it. Hi, my name is Nikola Daz, and I help men master their S3X energy and unleash your masculine power. I'm working with leaders all across the world, and I've got a free gift for you. It's in the description. It's called the free S3X Transmutation Guide. And I'm going to share with you in that guide the power of your masculine energy and how to unleash it so you can become attractive, vibrant, and ultimately a leader for your family, for your business, for your community, for your movement, and for the world at large, which is badly needed in this age of Kali. Now, if you're wondering, what is the age of Kali? In the Vedic literatures, it talks about different ages that the world goes through. And 5,000 years ago, we entered into the age of Kali. In fact, Maharaj Parakshit, who was the last pious king. Look at our leaders today. They, we can hardly call them leaders. Bickering and fighting over nonsense, creating political division, posturing, war, famine, disease, mental health skyrocketing the demasculation of men. Where are our leaders? They're not leaders. They're pirates. And they're essentially overtaxing us and taking from their own people rather than protecting, providing, and leading, which is what a man does, which is what I know you want to do. That's why you're on this channel. Maharaj Parikshit over, th over 5,000 years ago recognized the symptoms of the age of Kali and he knew that this was on us and that it's only going to get worse and we can see some of these predictions come true. The inner conflicts, not just between nations, but within ourselves. So many of us are battling ourselves. Maybe you can relate. Maybe you feel indecisive. Maybe you feel uncertain. Maybe you feel like you're losing yourself or you don't know what to do with your life or you don't have a purpose or a drive, but there's something inside of you that's saying, I know I'm supposed to be more than what I am. I know because that's the calling in me and I've been acting upon it and developing my skills and learning what it means to be a man and to be a leader and I'm so proud of the work that we're doing, myself and my team here, impacting so many men around the world. And this is why I'm also hopeful. Because the, while the Kali Yuga is going to be full of challenges, here's the beauty. Opportunity generally comes wrapped up in the form of a problem or a challenge. If we go back to the 1920s in the Great Depression, more millionaires were created in that era than any other time. More billionaires more leaders, new types of politicians, new types of businessmen, new types of family men are going to emerge because that's what happens when challenge is upon us. That's what happens when quarrel is upon us. That's what happens when our own leaders aren't doing the job that they're supposed to do. We get to rise up. And this is the hope. This is the opportunity. And I hope you're hearing me, not with your ears, but with your heart as well, recognizing this is your chance to take the leadership board, to bypass the pack and to set your family up, to, sell, to set yourself up, to set up your business, your community, your movement, your congregation in a whole new way in light. But it's going to take something special. You can't continuously do what you've always done in this age. Technology is changing rapidly. Political environments are unstable. There is turbulence. But anybody who can stabilize the turbulence 
people are going to gravitate towards you. They're going to pay you for your services. They're going to be attracted to you. They're going to want to be part of your movements, your families. It's inevitable because the general masses are going to look for stability. They're going to look for someone who's strong. And if that's you, you're going to capitalize in many ways, not just materially, but spiritually. You're going to live a life of meaning, of purpose, and you're ultimately going to leave a legacy on this planet. So it's game on. No more waiting. Now is the time because now the time is turbulent. Now there's gaps in the market. Now there's opportunity, but only for the men who act. So you have to ask yourself, am I a man of action or am I passive? Am I waiting for opportunity to come to me or am I going out and seeking opportunity? Knock and the door shall open to you. Seek and you shall find. Ask and it shall be given, but you have to take action. If you don't know how to take action, if you don't know how to knock or seek or find, then guess what? You get left behind. And there are essentially three essentials that you need to recognize. Two of them don't do, one of them do. You see, as much as we should know what to do, I believe it's also important to know what not to do so that we can avoid the pitfalls and mistakes. So here's the first thing not to do. Take your foot off the pedal. Many leaders are doing that right now. Many congregations and spiritual movements are taking their foot off the pedal. Ooh, I don't want to say something and get canceled. I don't want to challenge the status quo. I don't want to disturb anybody or offend anybody with truth. So what do they do? They bend the truth. How many leaders are standing at the pulpit or in front of the temple or the mosque or the, the wherever they're worshiping and bending the real spiritual truths because they're afraid and they're weak? Too many. So many business leaders are going, okay, it's now time to, you know, I'm not going to invest anymore. I'm going to pull back. I'm going to, you know, just play my cards. I'm going to wait the storm out. This is the age of Kali. The storm is just getting started. It's just warming up. So if you're going to pay the passive, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till the right time. I'm going to wait till the economy's better. I'm going to wait till the recession's over. I'm going to wait till there's more stability. Guess what? You're going to be waiting the rest of your life and you're going to be on your deathbed going, oh, wait a sec. Why did I wait so long? You have limited time on this planet. Ask yourself right now, am I investing it? Am I creating the life I want? Am I leading my people, my family, my community, my business? Am I going after and creating and attracting my dreams? Always remember universal's, universal law, God's law, whatever you want to call it, nature's law is supreme. It surpasses man's laws and the bullshit of our politicians. So the first type of leader right now is watching and waiting and pulling back, taking their foot off the brake, they're going to get left behind. The second type of leader and man is doing what they've always done. Well, we know the definition of insanity. Keep doing the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. Well, maybe you could have kept doing the same thing over and over again and maintained but as more technology advances, as AI comes into play, as the world shifts, as political dynamics shift, as business dynamics shift, as posturing happens, you're not going to continue to be able to do things the way you've always been doing it. You're going to have to keep up. And if you don't keep up, if you're not with it, if you're not staying in tune with what's going on, you're also going to get left behind or you're going to be the person that by time the opportunity comes, you're too late. The stock already has bubbled, made millions, billions. People have cashed out and now you're coming. Oh, should I invest in this? That's because you're not sharp. If that's happening to you, if you notice you're missing opportunities, if you see other people advancing and you're not, there's something you're missing. And this takes us to the third essential, which is a must. This is what you want to do. Adapt, take advantage, and develop skills. I'll say it again. Adapt, take advantage, and develop skills. You want to adapt to the changing times. You want to take advantage of the new technologies. 
Don't be afraid of what's going on and don't have a, skin, a cynical, skeptical view. I see, I see too many people down the conspiracy theory rabbit holes and now they're just afraid of the world and they think everybody's out to get them. Remember, God's laws are supreme. Tap into those laws. Those principles are timeless. So don't worry about new fads, but take advantage of new opportunities. So be sharp. Have your finger on the pulse. Adapt your way of being. Adapt what you're doing, and then you're going to take advantage. You're going to see the opportunities and the gaps that need to be fulfilled. Remember, turbulent time creates gaps, and this is your time to go right through like a football player, I imagine, you know, you got the lineup and soon as the, the quarterback or the running back sees the gap, boom, he's through the gap and he's scoring his touchdown. That's what you need to be. You need to be looking for the gaps. And as soon as you see the gap, you got to be right on it because the world is moving fast. Oh, I'll get to that tomorrow. I'll get to that next week. By time tomorrow when next week comes, there's that gap has closed and someone else has already taken advantage of that. That's why you have to be sharp. And that's why I teach men to get themselves self-mastered because you're not sharp if you're jerking off every day or if you're chasing girls or if you're, you know, just got some vices that you're dealing with. You're not going to be sharp. You're not going to see the gaps. You're not going to be able to take advantage. You're not going to be a man of action. You're going to be a procrastinator and you're going to fall into the first two categories. You're going to sit back and wait. You're going to complain. You're going to feel like a victim instead of like a victor. So always be adapting. And how do you do that? Learn new skills. Invest in yourself. Invest in your development. Invest in your person, in your dreams, in your visions, in your goals. And if you don't have dreams, visions, and goals, that's the first thing to do. That's what I'm doing with all the men that I'm working with in my Powerhouse Man Leadership Development Program. I'm helping them establish goals. Get rid of their energy leaks and vices. Learn great communication skills. Learn how to influence. Learn how to make impact. Learn how to sell. Sales is everything. You have to first sell yourself on your own abilities. Selling your family and your children to be better, to up level. Selling clients on why you, your product or your service can help them. Selling your congregation on why they should stick to the principles and not be afraid of the mob mentality and the masses who are lost. Your ability to sell, your ability to influence is going to make a massive difference. Your ability to lead will transform your life. And the other aspect is who you associate with, who you hang out with. If you find yourself listening to negative Nancys, if you're down the conspiracy theory rabbit holes and getting depressed, if you are uh, uh, listening or hanging out with a bunch of losers, vice riddled, drunk, high, broke, talking a big game but doing nothing, you need to exit that social group right away. And you need to get around high value men, men who are willing to tell the truth, men who are willing to develop themselves, men who are, wasting, are ready to face their own inner battles because it's not easy. And if you think it's easy, you've been lied to or you're lying to yourself. This ain't easy, but I'm not promising what's easy. I'm promising results. I'm promising if you're willing to do the hard work, if you're ready to get committed, if you're ready to take on the challenges and challenge yourself and challenge those around you to be better and shake shit up in your life, then come hang out with us and you're going to associate with like-minded men. You're going to associate with leaders, conscious men who are developing themselves, I never demand perfection, but we definitely hold you to the standard of progress. Progress in your life. If you're ready to take action, go to the description. First of all, get involved with the free transmutation guide. That's going to help you, give you more insights. I've got a routine in there where you're going to be able to shift your state, get rid of the negative habits, put yourself into a high energy state, get focused, get congruent with your goals. And if you know you're ready to take the next step, you want to jump on a call with me, then go ahead. My calendar is in the description. 
Book a free consultation. There is a short application to fill out. We'll get on a call. We'll discuss where you're at, where you want to go. And I'll lay out the four pillars that I'm using to help men unleash their masculine power, transmute their energy, and make a massive impact, and therefore income and lifestyle in this world. I'll see you on the call. Make sure you subscribe, get notified. I'll see you on the next video as well.